It is close to three weeks since doctors under the umbrella body of Uganda Medical Association went on strike to show displeasure over what they termed as poor enumeration. Since then, the National Executive Committee of Uganda Medical Association engaged with government as Uganda Medical Association President Dr. Oboku Ekwaro confirms constructive discussions. They meet the minimum motivation to call for the General Assembly. In other words, it is possible that government would have made proposals which as National Executive Committee wouldn't have been moved to call for the General Assembly. But after studying it carefully, looking at the circumstances and assessing that indeed we have been heard and we have been heard very well by the state and decision makers. We have received incredible support by the public and opinion leaders. Parliament has put it in its highest agenda to discuss this item as soon as they resume. His Excellency the President has said we are first on his agenda sometime next week to discuss these issues. So we would like to take opportunity of this as well, irrespective of what the General Assembly says. So we are moved to call for the General Assembly, meaning we trust that the government is serious. However, Dr. Oboku declined to divulge details on what commitments government has made on their different demands as they wait discussion by the Uganda Medical Association General Assembly set for this Saturday. We received a commitment letter from the government signed by the Minister of Finance. However, we are not at liberty to disclose the specifics until the General Assembly on Saturday. We are still under embargo by agreement that it is the General Assembly on Saturday which will have the privilege of discussing and deliberating these issues on that day. Some of the demands include salary increment, regularization of intern doctors, availability of critical medical equipment and supplies, among others. Doctors need to be supported to continue with their work by having basics such as gloves, other personal protective equipment such as masks, gauze and bandages to arrest bleeding and so on and so forth. So that specific aspect has not been worked upon and we ask government to expedite its procurement process to ensure some of these things, especially those which cannot be bought, like blood. There is no way you can buy blood from a pharmacy. There is no blood shop. We have a blood bank where you go and withdraw blood. Okay? There is no way a patient can buy oxygen from a pharmacy or a drug shop. These really are something that government should prioritize to strengthen the health system. For now, Doctors will continue providing emergency medical and surgery services until the 25th November when Uganda Medical Association's General Assembly discusses government's commitments. I'm Navka Farida and Adia Nakuti reporting. Good speed, good speed. Let's remain. You are willing to. They are very willing and we are first. We are first. We are first.